Alrighty, so this is a video on how to deal with the Dodongo RNG. Um, so there are two scenarios that can happen, or technically three, but um, the two scenarios are the one on the left moves or the one on the right moves, and the other one was where they just don't move. They move towards you, but like they don't, not one of them moves individually. And um, the only one you should really be resetting on, or the one I do personally, is when the one on the right moves. So I'll try to get one where the one on the left moves. I should probably wait. See, so yeah, I know the move there. So yeah, the one on the left, see the problem I have with this is he can move more to the right. And you can tell I'm not even like hitting him with the bombs right now. Because they're not close enough together. So like the one on the right just moved. And then now I probably would have to like go kill this guy with, the, with your sword. But um let me see if I can get the one on the left to move. So yeah, the one on the left, another example, see he just moves too far to the right. I was really slow to like react there. So yeah, none of them moved. Don't move at the same time. If they don't move at the room, move right away. Come on, dude. I want the one on the left. Nope. They do not want to cooperate. You're being too nice. Dude. Come on, man. So like this, you can just keep going because that one's gonna walk up forward and you can actually like bomb them and sing. Because, so where I normally stand, oh, let me wait for this to finish. So where I normally stand, or where I throw my bombs is around here on this black line. And it makes it very consistent for when the one on the left moves and for, I'm not sure about how to deal with the one on the right very much, but uh, If you just stand in that spot, for one on the one, the one on the left moves, it's just a very consistent spot for those two scenarios. I'm trying to see if I can get the one on the right to move to see if I can show what it looks like when you stand in that spot. And they just do not want to move on me. Maybe one day. Alright, so I'll show why this is kind of inconsistent. Because I can probably bomb them in sync right now using this spot. So I got kind of lucky there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go again. And see if I can bomb them in sync when the right one moves. So yeah, just another example. Also, if you're standing far enough forward when he shoots his, uh, his fire, he won't hit you. So I'll try this again. Oh, 
Okay, this is working. I don't know why. So you can probably make it work. I'm not sure if this spot is consistent for both scenarios and might be. I haven't really tested this out that much. It's just been from personal experience. So I think it actually might be consistent for both spots. I'll do it a few more times here. If I can get it one more time with the right one, then I guess you can make it work. Because I'm not really sure, like, if the right one has, like, a certain pattern when it moves, or if it's, like, determined on how you move in the grotto. Also, when the one on the left moves, you want to stand a lot farther forward, just to make sure you get the one in the back. You really want your bombs to be hitting the dude in the back, and it'll always hit the one on the, in front of you. Yeah, I'm just proving that that one's can. I know that one's consistent for sure. I'm just trying to see if I can get the one on the left, or the right to move, one more time. So yeah, that might actually be consistent. I'm not sure how consistent it is, but um, from what I just tested, um, that spot always works. It seems to work for both, and the spot again is a. Uh, kind of need to like. Uh, it's right here. It's kind of where like the. You'll see this line, and it kind of has like the white spot. And then I think that should work for both. You just kind of have to like adjust your distance for what kind of RNG you get, really. But um, it seems to work for both scenarios. So I hope this helps, and yeah.